They're following me. And the cameras are filming. No, I said, wait, I said, take it off. Hey, look, 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 what's he doing? 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 Are you trying to do it? Right now, now, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to speak to you like that. Let me show you. Can you get come here? No, but it wasn't meant that way. It was just meant if you don't want people to hear what you're saying, take your microphone off. Yeah. I'm not trying to belittle you. I'm not trying to belittle you. You can't belittle me. No, I'm not trying to belittle you. I'm not trying to do that any day. Why is he coming here? No, I'm saying, listen. I'm going to give him a mic. I'm going to give him a mic. You asked me to show you a hadith. He brought me over here to show him a hadith. I'm trying to show him a hadith. This guy like a kid to hear it. He don't want you to hear it. We're right like a kitten. He don't want you to hear it. You are a kitten. You are a kitten. But he don't want you to hear it. He's a coward. He wants to take the hadith. Take the hadith. Don't worry. Shuffle through his papers. And come back to the next week. That's why he don't want you to see it. Hey, you Just a little. I'm not going to camera. Why are you camera? Take a light for you. Take a light. Take a light. You ask me a question. Yeah. Because off camera, you're like a kitten. You don't speak like that. Kitten? <laughs> ah, I'm not like a kitten. Okay, I'm like a kitten. I'm here now. I'm going to mic it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want the hadith? Do you want the hadith? I love the hadith. You don't want the hadith because all your, all your little puppies, 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 all your little Bro, he's not a pagan. Right. Bro, he's not a pagan. 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 Bro, he's what just happened, right? He came to me on the sly. He came to me on the sly. On the sly. Right, because, because he knew that if I read the hadith about Muhammad... <laughs> about Muhammad... About Muhammad burning babies alive... No, sorry. About Muhammad sanctioning... About <laughs> okay, run. Stay. He came to me on the slide, <laughs> right? And it's another Dawa tactic. Just another Dawa tactic. He couldn't come in hard, so he tried to softly, softly approach. Try to take me to the side, find out where the hadith is, so he could go away and, f and shuffle through his stupid office papers and come back with a refute. As soon as his Muslim brothers started stepping in, he ran away. He doesn't want you to hear that Muhammad himself sanctioned the killing of women and children. His own dawah tactic, he comes here, stands on his stupid little stool every week and comes here and says, you believe killing the women and babies, babies. And his own prophet sanctioned the killing of innocent children. His own prophet burned people in their houses because they wouldn't get up for prayer. Now I'm going to read the hadith again. This is Bukhari. He asked me whether it was Bukhari. Crapped himself. Bukhari 3012. Narrated As Saab bin Jathamba. The prophet passed by me at a place called Al Abwa and was asked whether it was permissible to attack the pagan warriors at night with the probability of exposing their women and children to danger. The prophet replied, they are from them. So we know Muhammad didn't care. As long as you're infidel, as long as you're non-Muslim, as long as you're kafar, as long as you're nejis, as long as you're Jew and Christian, you can get slaughtered. This is why he's running. That's why he's running. Every week. <laughs> you're you're a scholar. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a scholar. I don't know nothing. Why is he running from me? Because he doesn't want the truth to be told.
The truth is that Islam is a hateful, genocidal religion that has commissioned every single Muslim that has commissioned every single Muslim to fight. It's, it, it commissioned it's your duty. It's your duty, according to scholars, to fight all the kafar until the day the Jajjal comes. You just told me Islam is a hateful religion. Right? And if you go to your grave not wanting to do jihad, your scholars say you will die as a hypocrite, a monarchic. So every Muslim has the responsibility to do dawah. You just told me Islam is a hateful religion, right? To do dawah softly, softly, like the little fool, to do dawah like they do with ISIS and Boko Haram, right. to do dawah right. like Muhammad Jab tries to use hand-to-hand -hand combat with Jedi, to do dawah with your nice little stupid little dawah, best of character, Ali Dawah school. Dawah comes in all shapes and sizes and they try to kid you and keep you a, a sugar-coated version of Islam. Because Islam's so wonderful, isn't it? Isn't it? Come on, Muslims. It's all, Islam is so wonderful. But yet, but yet, you send scholars into the park. You send scholars into the park that run away from laymen like me. Because we have the information to expose the wicked cult that Islam is. And we call you to the truth of Jesus Christ. We call you to the truth of the gospel. We call you to the saviour of the world. Turn away from Islam and come to Jesus. If you want to follow a paedophile, it's up to you. Let's, let's go get baptised, there's a pond over there, go back. You he don't care, because he's just looking for his 80,000 pretty little boys that his Muhammad has promised him in Jannah. Are you looking forward to them? You're going to have 80,000 pretty little boys in Jannah. Are you looking forward to that? No answer. No answer. Stop lying. Are you liar? Are you liar? Are you liar? Are you that's all, that's all they say, all they say, when we talk about what their hadith says, what they, why did Allah blow in Mary's vagina? No answer. You see, Islam had no answers. Ask us anything about Christianity. We have love for you Muslims. We do have love for you Muslims. We're attacking your religion and your false prophet. We're not attacking you. Christ has commissioned us to fight the good fight of faith. And that means coming here and preaching the gospel no matter what the cost and we're here to reveal to you the lies of Muhammad the lies of the Quran the lies of the Hadith your Quran has sanctioned your Quran has sanctioned pedophilia your Quran has sanctioned polygamy your Quran has sanctioned prostitution. You call it muta marriage. Make it sound nice to the Westerners. Muta marriage. Make it sound nice. Yeah? The Bible says woe to those who call good evil and evil good. And this is what Muhammad did. He took everything that is evil and he tried to make it good to attract you. He's offered you pretty little boys and virgins. God help you. Leave this wicked religion. That's why they run away. Come with the camera, follow them, neck back. Sure. Come with the camera. He keeps following me. Look at the steroids. The steroids are talking. Come. I don't take any steroids. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. I don't take any steroids. Don't me, That's good, isn't it? I don't take any steroids. Amen. That's what you get for dedication. Shut my mouth. Shut my mouth. All the demons manifesting. 
You see, this is what he looks for. This is what he looks for. Yeah. This is the first time you've been recorded. No, you just assume I told you. Okay, you look too many cameras. I can't do it. Okay, I can't do it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Scaring a Christian. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Scaring a Christian. Why, why are you being scared of him, brother? I'm not scared of you. I'm not looking to me. Believe me, I'm not scared. Thank you. So stay, stay here and refute him. Stay and refute him. He don't want to be on camera. So I'm offering you a debate again. Great scholar. Take too much, man. Take it I'm offering you a debate. You're a great scholar. It's going to go all around the world that this man who run from Christian Prince, run from DCCI, run from me, run from every Christian in this park because he can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Stay and debate me. If you don't shout, I'll see what I said. Stay and debate me, and I want a moderator. I want, I want, a, I want a moderator. No problem. Get a moderator. As long as I want a moderator. Look, look, look. I will speak to you on the condition don't shout. Would you do that? He can't, he's on roids. Okay. <laughs> so take care of yourself. Right. Well, listen, right. hold on. Can you, can you, no, no, Kane, I will speak to you. Will you shout? No, 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 I'm going to shout. Okay. There you go. Okay. Have we you have an agreement. Have okay, no problem. We have an agreement. We have an agreement. On the condition, right. you don't shout and you don't And you, and, okay. and, and don't what? Don't interrupt. Right, so will you interrupt okay. me? No, I will try my best to not interrupt I'll try my, I'll try my best. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, yeah, no we problem. might falter. Yeah, no problem. There you go. Calm down. Hey. Okay, fair enough. You're already getting angry. So, so now, Wait. can we choose a topic? Okay, Because I've got my topic. The oneness of God. Right. Okay. Let me, let me choose my topic. No. You ask, well, you ask me now, so let me this choose is the, This is the, What's this guy? This is the no, safe. Right, thank you. This is, a, this is, a, this is an outsider. Knowing he's that he's chosen he's a, a safe topic. He's a Christian. The safe topic that Muslims topic. have to choose. Because you want to stay away from Muhammad. My, my topic is. My topic. My topic. My topic is. You've got a choice. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a choice. Okay, go on. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you. I'm going to. Ask him if he accepts my one. Wait, 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 here is one first. You said your one. Bro, I, I said I, my one. I, he cannot just skip it and skip talking. I know, but here is your one first and see if you agree as well. All right, come, come but, bro, he doesn't the, agree with The topic one. we've been debating all day is jihad. You you've been you've been running away. Okay. You've been running away from it all day. So do you agree with that topic? Let's close out that topic with a moderator. You said you won't interrupt me. I don't interrupt you. So now ask me. I ask you clearly. Is that agreed? I said, I said, I said the topic oneness of God. Would you agree? See, he wants to change the topic. Yeah, but would you agree with that? But I said that. He's, he's my, top, he's my, my topic he's is outside. jihad. Because that's what we've been debating I, I, all day. You're running to the oneness no, of God because you know that's, your, that's your safe no, zone. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because you know that we won't infiltrate Islam where it really matters. No problem. Oneness of God. You know oneness you know of God. You know Talk about the real issues. You know why? Talk about jihad and Muhammad. You know why? You know why? You know why? Yes, talk about Muhammad and the real issues. I tell you the oneness of God why. Because if we establish who is a true God, then whatever comes after it, we have to accept it. Because if you accept this, uh, this is his true God, we have to accept everything from him. Look, Cain, let me say something. Cain, earlier on, when I asked you about killing children, you said because from God, you have to accept it. So you don't have a problem with Islam because he says fighting or something. You have a problem with Islam because you believe it's not from God. That's the main point. So let us see. But my Islam. topic is jihad. Oneness of God. You accept that? Look, he's right. scared. Let's toss a coin. Where's the first commandment? Right. No, 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 no. Hey, Where's the first Let's commandment? Let's toss a coin. Huh? We toss a coin. Ah, you see now, he doesn't, he doesn't even want to go fair. No, don't, you don't even want to go we, fair, we bro. No, because now, all, all day, all we, day. We don't dislike him. Okay, fair enough. All, then we have to decide a way, brother, because all day we've okay, been discussing topic? jihad. One topic, one topic. Simple. One topic. That's about it. violence in the Bible. Right, now, okay. One okay. topic, one, one, one topic, one topic. Right, now, you're saying, you want to pick a topic and I pick a, a yes. topic. So first, yes. first right. topic, then a topic. Right. That means I get freebie. I pick. Just I pick. I pick. Hold on. No, no, because I was going easy on you. Now I want to discuss Muhammad being bewitched. That's what I want to discuss. Okay. I want to discuss Muhammad being bewitched. Okay. So now. What's your topic? My topic is the Bible. Violence in the Bible. So how are we going to do this, Shamsi? So question speak, for question, or what? No, we have to speak about the, the first topic for like 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. 
Then we move on about. Are it. you gonna run, Shamsi? I'm not. I'm not. But if I, you run, seriously, if you run, when we finish, if you run, if you run, if you run, seriously, when we finish, sorry. If you shout, are you got Asbo? Have you got Asbo? No, you're you're, you're serious, man. You got, have you got Asbo? Yeah, you're serious. Aki, okay, okay, okay. go on, speak, go on, speak, go on. Yes, yes. Yeah, good. But anyone when we finish your topic, yes, then we move on to your topic. Yeah, we're gonna move on to your topic. Yeah, but remember now, let me. If you start shouting, as I mentioned, right. Remember, you said you may interrupt me. I may interrupt you. Listen, listen, listen. Let me listen, brothers. As everyone knows, you can go to my channel every Sunday. I have a class at seven thirty. Okay. So now we it's six thirty. Okay. So ten minutes, ten minutes. Okay. Then I have to walk. Okay, and walking away. Who's, who's gonna Who's gonna time this? Yes, I'm on time. Okay. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. No, no, no. I don't. I want. I want a bystander. Nah, I want a bystander. TNT. Anyone? Last time I like Christian silence. Christian silence. Oh, let me talk about the oneness of God anyway. Oh no no, about the, the violence, violence, violence. No, it's my one. I don't mind which topic we start with, as long as you don't run when you finish your topic. No, no, I said to you, wait, wait, ten minutes. So what's yeah, the what's, what's the topic? You want to start with yours? The, is the Bible from God concerning the violence? Okay, showing the violence. That's fine. Start, yeah? That's fine. Okay, now we're gonna have conversation for ten minutes. Okay, now we, as a human being, God gave us natural inclination and a sound reasoning. You don't have to be Muslim to possess that. Okay. You don't have to be Muslim to know you see someone stepping on a baby's head, it is wrong, okay? Except if it's unintentionally, everyone knows unintentionally, okay? Now, when you read the Bible, the Bible that's supposed to be from God in Samuel 115 clearly, explicitly says, go kill the babies and infants. Why? Not because those babies are going to grow up as an evil man, therefore, based upon God's foreknowledge, he's going to punish them, okay? No. Because something happened 400 years ago. It's like you telling to the Jewish people, go kill the babies and the children of the Germans. Because Hitler did something to your forefathers. Everyone says, no, hold a minute. Their forefathers has nothing to do with it. So in the Bible it says, go kill the babies, donkeys, children, infants. Go slaughter them alive. Okay? So anyone with the sound reason say, hold a minute. Why? Is it because natural disaster? It's understandable. Is it because they're gonna grow up as evil people? That's understandable. Based upon God's foreknowledge as justice. No, because something happened 500 years ago. They have nothing to do with it. God said do it. Violence, clearly, okay? That is not justified, okay? I've only explained about if you if they say, you know what, because those children they're not gonna grow up as evil. No, the Bible gives the context. Now watch this. In the Bible, if your wife saves you from a fight. You just cut off her hand. It's jumping all over the place. No, that's about violence. That's violence. That's violence. That's violence. That's violence. It's, it's violence. Yes, thank you. It's violence. So now. Oh, uh, wait, wait. okay. It says violence. Okay. okay. Violence. Let's go violent. Violence. I'm talking about the Bible violence. Okay. No. Hadith violence. Quran violence. We're talking about violence in the Bible. That's a topic. Violence in the Bible. That's a topic. Okay. My point here. Do you, do you, are you, is it okay to slaughter the babies alive because of a sin that happened 400 years ago? Right. That's what Here's my answer. Muslims, open your ears. Now, if you hear the truth, don't just shut your heart up because you're Muslim. I want you to hear the truth. Right. Now, I want you to imagine a group of people that were against the children of Israel. These are God's chosen people. God's chosen people who were 400 years in subjugation in Israel, they had now been set free and were traveling through the wilderness on their way to Canaan. The Amalekites, right, who you're speaking of, were not enemies of God. God did not have a problem with them. Anyone can go to the Bible and check this. God had a problem with the Canaanites. The Canaanites were Amorites who were worshiping a God called Molech, who was putting their babies and burning them alive. God had a problem with burning babies alive. He was now sending the Israelites to go and slaughter the same tribe who were burning babies alive. The Amalekites who he's speaking of started to attack the Israelites on their journey to Canaan. They attacked them from behind Remember, there's millions of Israelites. They'd attack Israelites. Sometimes the front wouldn't even know what was going on. 
and God held his patience. The Amalekites even teamed up with the Midianites and they attacked Israel. So now God said, slaughter them, slaughter them all, because now you're messing with my chosen people and you're going to get it. This is the judgment of God. This is what happened. So okay. Now, oh, hold on, hold on. Now, I just want to round it off. Now, I want you to understand this, people. When God makes a judgment, it is true. I want you to think about the people that were slaughtered. The men, the men, the men, they were the propagators, the leaders. They were slaughtered. Why? Because if they were left alive, they would come back and seek revenge. Hold on. The young, the, the young boys, they were slaughtered. They were slaughtered. If they were left alive, they would grow to come back and seek revenge. Now, the babies, the babies who this man is speaking of and who Shamsi is speaking of. Think about what happened to the babies. According to the Bible, babies are innocent. Hold on, listen. The babies are innocent. If the babies are innocent, where do they go? They go to heaven. Show me in the Bible says go to paradise. Right? If no, no, they are no. innocent, no. they do not go to hell, they go to heaven, according to the Bible. Now, you have to think. So when God killed these babies, he not only he, one time, I'm gonna round off now, I'm gonna round off now. This is my point. This is my God, my rounding off. He not only, he not only, he not only stopped them growing up, he not only stopped them growing up and perpetuating the ugly culture of burning babies, but he saved their souls. Okay, now, and no. now they're eternally living with God okay. in heaven. No problem. He gave them salvation. That's, that's a pure so lie. Why? Read the people. Bible, watch. Let me read the Bible. He's doing Takiyah. Watch this. No such thing. Watch, 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 watch. We only speak the truth. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Watch this. Now go attack the Malachites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put them to death. Men, women, children, infants, cattle, innocent people, you, you, you sort of them alive? How you sort of someone innocent? Watch this. Did I not agree with all of that? Did I not agree with all of that? It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. My time. I'm the one the Lord sent to anoint your king over his people, Israel. So listen now to the message from the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish Malachite for what they did to Israel. Samuel and Saul came 400 years after the event. That was not the same time. This guy is lying. No, so I did. Wait, wait, what see. did I say about it's the same time? time. It's my time. So it's my time. So now God. People judge for themselves. God said. Judge for themselves. So, so according to him, the, the Jews in Israel, because he believed they are chosen ones, oh, they should what? go kill the, the Germans. No, why did I say? Why did I say? Let me finish. Let me finish. The Bible. That's you. You made it up. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says the reason you go kill them. Because they did something to Israel or to Israel. This clearly in the Bible, in Samuel 15, go kill their babies. Brothers, would you kill someone innocent? No, no. Okay, this guy, that's why Christian, you cannot debate with them. Right now, this is. No, it's, my it's my time. It's my time. Go on, go on, now go on. It's my time. Now, it's my time because we're still talking about the violence in the Bible. And it's my time, it's my topic. Now, it says go slaughter them. Do not spare them. Hold them in. What about donkeys? Did donkeys did something to Israel? Donkeys, maybe his forefather did something. So the donkeys, the donkeys kill all the baby, black dogs. The donkeys, what do they do? What do they do? Go off topic. It's got off topic. Nonsense it's got argument. Off topic. It's got off topic. You see, sign of weakness. Nonsense you argument. Well, you use, you can. You use, can use a proper you argument. So the donkeys, why are they getting killed? The, is, uh, maybe the donkeys' great grand grandfather did something to Israel as well. The skin donkeys, man. Oh, yeah. So my point here clearly, he has no point to stand on now listen it, my point here no, no 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 it's my time it's my time it's my time it's my, time. It's my topic so i ask a new question you ask so now look look it's i spoke for 10 minutes no 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 okay. no it's all his turn it's my time yeah it's my time Your turn didn't come. so you ask your question okay go on go on my go on, question go on. clearly is it okay yes or no now you're gonna justify it of course gonna say from god if you're gonna say it's from god then we muslims Anything you're going to answer me, I'm going to say from God. So why is it okay for you to do everything because God said it and it's not okay for us because God said it? Why your God has to be better than my God? If this is the case, we should debate in which one is the true God. That's which makes sense. So my point here clearly, simple question. Is it okay to slaughter the babies alive 
and to ban your daughter alive. Yes or no? Right now, I've already answered the question. I yeah, said yeah, it's yeah, a judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't interrupt. It's Don't interrupt. I've already said. It's my time. I've already said. I've already said. I've already said and given reasons. I've already said and given reasons why God judged. No, is it okay? Yes why or no? God? I said I'm yes. Okay. Right, and I've to given reasons. Hold on, I've given. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna. You said I was lying. You said I. He said I was lying. He said I was lying. Yeah, but hold on. I'm gonna prove I wasn't lying. Right. I'm gonna go to numbers. 1445, right? And this is talking about the Amalekites who were attacking Israel. They were attacking Israel. They attacked Israel again while they were still in the desert. And in Judges 313, they joined with the Moabites in attacking Israel in Judges 6-3. They invade, they invade Israel whenever the Israelites planted their crops with the Midianites, right? They showed, they showed that they were at war with God and no, Israel. The same one. Okay, the same one. now, no, the same one. now, now, no, no, wait, wait, okay, okay, no, no, so, see my time. Okay. Now, let me answer, let me answer. About killing the women and babies. Do you agree with killing the women and babies? Wait, 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 Cain. When, you know what he did? Cain, what he did? He figured we're dumb. He is read from the numbers. I know the numbers. The numbers talking about another event that happened with the, when Israel talking about the Amalekites wait, and Mal why God Mal destroyed wait, them. Wait, Stop lying. Go Mal on. Malachite never exists in one century and finished. Malachite exists from the time of Israel. Nobody oh, talking about how long they existed. Bro, let me finish my point. So the event you're talking about. Why did God destroy them? Why did God destroy them? Stop. Ten seconds. Yeah, but history. Yeah, fair enough. My point here is. The, 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 the story in Samuel is completely different than the story. Why did he destroy them? Because something happened 400 years ago. Right, and now, according to Samuel God, over, according, okay. according, to God according to God, it could be a thousand years before. It could be a million years before. The, the, God, when God spoke to Abraham, God, God, God spoke to Abraham, right? God spoke to Abraham, right? About the Amorites who were Canaanites. When Israel... But way before Israel were even captured and were subjugated by, his, um, by the Egyptians. Because Abraham was wondering when his people were going to be justified. Listen and when, wait, when his seed, listen, when his seed was going to be blessed like the sand of the earth. Right, what? and God spoke to him about the Amorites and said their sin has not come up to it yet. Right, God knew when He was going to judge those people because of their sin. No, it didn't no, matter. It didn't I'm matter okay. how long it took. No, Ken, Ken, it didn't honest. matter how long it took. Ken, Ken, right, I want you to understand the, this, guys. Samuel, Samuel, the reason they were killed because something crazy. happened 400 years ago. Doesn't and, matter how long. That's but my they point. Never did it. it doesn't. Listen, listen. It doesn't what what God? God is. God is looking. Hold on, are you saying to me, Go on, ask are, you, are you saying to me yeah, cool. that you disagree with killing women and children? No, listen, my question, I'm answering. Yes or no? What? No, no, you can't say yes or no. Ah, like like it, bro, I, I, Let I, him I, answer. Now, as I have mentioned clearly, my point was to you, you're going to go off topic. My point was to you. Off topic. That, let me speak. Violence, let me speak. off topic. Let me speak. Let me speak. Okay. Now, killing women and children, intentionally, okay, intentionally, is forbidden Islam, clearly. The Prophet Muhammad Sahib Bukhari said, do not kill women and children. However, there was some a situation happened, okay? But it was not intentionally. No, no, let me not intentionally. Let me finish my point. What if he was warned let me, about it? Let me finish. What let if me, he was warned about it? Let me finish about, let me finish about. Now, the point here is, we'll go back to the point. Go back to we, it. The point here, that you are, we believe as a Muslim, he, the Germans, our time, they should not be responsible for what Hitler did. What Allah said in the Quran, no one should be responsible for the sin of someone okay. else. Okay, so, your you know, 10 minutes is over. Let me just round up. I have answered. About oh, burning no, daughter alive is okay. When God, when God, when God, listen, I know he's, he's just, he just, it doesn't matter. But listen, don't run, don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Let me round it off. Let me round it off. Let me round it off. Now, what, what Shamsi said to round it off, the, sem, the, 10 minute, the 10 minutes is over, he wants yes. to distract to another thing. No, no, now, no. what I asked him was, does he agree with, with killing women and children? He said, not intentionally. Now, I've read hadith three or four times today where Muhammad was told prior to the Sahaba attacking and killing women no, and children no, 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 no. because the Sahaba asked him if it was permissible and he said it's 
they are from them. No, no, no. So it doesn't it's matter not, it's not your life as long as you're an infidel. Yeah, yeah. Before we jump right, into that, okay. let's jump into that. Wait, right, now let's go to a different question. topic. That's a question. Is it okay question to burn your daughter alive? I told you. Yes or no? Yo, I told you already. Yes. When God makes a judgment, it's okay. right, it's just. Tell us right? If it's I just. Make judgment, Are you us. running? No, I'm not here. Okay, okay. right. So tell me. Now, now, yeah? right, now, this is my topic. <laughs> this is my topic. You and see, the topic no is. I run. The, I, I okay. Because yeah, it's like from that. the virtues to run from the foolish. It's a virtue to run away from the foolish ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will finish yeah, with him, inshallah. But your question. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. Your question. That is no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because of something they did 400 yes, years ago, yeah. it's still not answered by them. Yeah, it's okay. Answered, and it's oppression. It's, it's yeah. been answered several times. Yeah, of course. It's justifying killing of children yeah. babies. No. In the music, you did, and guess what? Call shaitan. Right. So, what, gonna fight what happened him? during the wait, year? Wait, wait, How do you know during wait, the year? I wait, said that he was a year. He was getting Quran from who? From who? Bro, you do it again. From who? Take care of yourself. You must be from who? Can I speak? Who is he getting Quran from? No, no, no. Wait. So now, clearly, I said to him. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this book was revealed by the Almighty. So Prophet Muhammad never had a problem with the revelation. Yeah, okay. Prophet Muhammad never had a problem with the revelation. Never had a problem with his mind. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu he had a problem with his strength. No, you're asking me a question because I have to answer. You cannot just cut me, yeah, yeah. otherwise I have to walk away. Go on. Okay, I'm talking. No, my point here is, Prophet Muhammad this is my, this is my topic. that a story of magic is a proof that is a true prophet. Why? Because no one knew about the magic and the angel Gabriel came to him with a verse from the Quran and it cured him and he became well, alayhi salatu salam. So after and, a year wait, 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 it's not after a year, I don't know. Of seeing things and hallucinating. Can I finish? You can me. No, no, no. After okay. a year. Brothers, brothers, akhi. Akhi. Wait, I only speak. No. Uh, is it, How's your feel, no, Muslim? Let me not ask you. Do you have a problem with someone being. Right, finished? no, it's my topic. No, no, wait. It's uh, my topic. No. This is my topic. In the Bible, I knew he would change because faith. now Muhammad is looking like a fool. No, no, I know. I knew he would run. I knew he'd run. I knew he'd run. Now, I want to show people I'm going to the heart of the matter now. I'm going to the heart of the matter now. I'm going to the heart of the matter now. Because I want to know why Muhammad was casting spells. Why? Yes, yes. So why are you running? He's a fool. He was a fool. You're a big fool. He was a fool. He was under the influence of magic. He was under the influence of magic. He was casting spells. He told Aisha to cast spells. He told Aisha to cast spells. Do you deny it? Do you deny it? Where's the camera? Yalla, yalla, follow, follow. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this is the courage of Islam. And all the Muslims that know, know that if Muhammad was under the influence of magic for a year, that for a year, he was getting Quran. He was getting Quran. And they have no way to decipher which parts of the Quran, I don't believe any of it, but which parts of the Quran are from Allah or which parts are from the devil? Okay. Because right he was wrong? seeing things is for right? a year. Hey, brother, he's he's in denial. He I was doing denial. things that he is wasn't doing for a year. He was imagining things for a year. I don't want to speak to you about something else. You have to change her. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what an incantation is? Who knows what an incantation is? You know what an incantation is? She left the kids. She left the kids. You just speak to Shamsi, but you're God. There's only one God. Allah. You've just spoken to Shamsi, but you're questioning other Muslims. Bring Shamsi over here. He's always running from me. He is so independent. He's 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 Listen, I'm standing here calling you, telling you, Muhammad. Muhammad was a witch. He's a witch, bro. He's casting spells. He was under the influence of magic and he was casting spells.
They don't want to know. It's a, it's a shame. Man sacrifice, that's not enough. You believe in man sacrifice, that's a religion. What is an incantation? What is an incantation? What is an incantation? Stop running from the truth. Come to Jesus. Stop running from the truth. Come to Jesus. He doesn't want you to know that your prophet was a witch. Your prophet was cast in spells. Your prophet was hallucinating. Your prophet was imagining things. Your prophet was Satan's puppet. And Jesus Christ came to set you free from the lies of Islam. Stop running away every time you hear the truth. Stop running away every time you hear something that will bother you. Stop running away every time you don't want your Muslim friends to hear. But you shouting and insulting prophet. Why? Why you insult prophet? Why? Dear Muslims, I feel sorry for you. 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 All I'm doing is reading your hadith. Your hadith insult your prophet. Your hadith insults your prophet. Your literature insults your prophet because your literature makes him look like a fool. Your literature makes him look like a fool. I'm not saying anything but what he said. See, they run. See, they run. Typical Muslim day at the park. Typical Muslim day at the park. God bless them. God bless them because they can't handle the truth and they can't hack the hack as paper boy says. So I wish they all come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ because why? We must never give up on them. Keep praying. Come back next week for the next phase of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen.